We are about to hit a speed limit sign at 100 miles an hour with a ballistic gel arm. Oh my God. <laughs> What up guys, we are in Indianapolis for Cletus and Cars and the Indy 800. I'm bringing you some special content today. Not only am I gonna light my Hellcat on fire in a nasty burnout, but we're also testing what would happen to your arm if you were cruising out the window, if you hit a speed limit sign going 25, 60, and 100 miles an hour, so let's get to it. This is a ballistic gel arm with bones on the inside, which mimics your real arm. Oh, so nice. I mean, they feel very realistic, just like flesh would. This feels like a forearm. These bones are kind of all held together by wire. And uh, we're gonna attach this on the end of the broom and then attach the broom to the roll cage that's already inside the car. And then I'm gonna clip it on this side. So hopefully my aim is dialed in because I only got three of those arms and three signs we need to hit. Dude, what are you doing? We're putting up speed limit signs. Everyone's been hauling the mail on the back straight. So we gotta slow them down. <laughs> We're gonna be here all day. That's all right, so we got real U channel for the uh, signs here. These are from straight off a website that people actually use for speed limit and stop signs. We got a 60 mile an hour sign, 100 mile an hour, and 25 mile an hour. Spence, what do you think is gonna get happen to these arms? You think we're gonna obliterate it? I think you're gonna break all the bones on the first one. I think you're gonna have severed fingers on the second one. And if you actually get up to 100 miles an hour here, <laughs> which I'm surprised if you do. I think the whole thing is just going to shear right off. Mass destruction. Yeah. Let's go check out those arms because they're pretty sweet. Yeah, they're really cool. Now, these arms, you can buy ballistic gel arms that people use for like shooting and stuff like that off the internet. I'll tell you what, they ain't cheap. These things are like $350 a piece. All right, what are your predictions? My prediction is that we're going to absolutely obliterate this hand if I hit it directly on the sign on the 25 mile an hour sign. And then 60 and 100 are just going to be absolute shit shows. Yeah. I would say so. If, <laughs> if I don't hit the broom handle in. <laughs> I did steal that broom from Garrett or Cletus' trailer. They don't know we're using it. Yo, I can't think of a single thing to make this more mathematically correct of a situation to you. No. I mean, I feel Science. like a real doctor now. I mean, I know dentists aren't real doctors, but now I feel like a real doctor. Dude. What do you think? disagree. Go for it. Go for it, dude. Turn the GoPros on. GoPros on. Dude, you hit the hand, it was perfect. The sign's on the ground? The sign <laughs> fell down, I think it might hit the corner of the car. Hey, Let's go. GoPro off real yeah. quick. Bro, you have, you have just the nerve endings. <laughs> so we know you would at least lose two fingers, if not break multiple fingers, if your hand hit a sign at 25 miles an hour. Ooh. So because these arms are 300 bucks a rip, $300 rip, we're gonna use the 25 mile an hour one on the Stixie speed limit sign. We already know that two flanges are broken, so we're gonna put the good ones in front of it, kind of like you're doing one of these out the window. You know what I mean? That's a great feeling, right, as yeah. a kid? But any predictions before we do it? Um, I'm thinking you're gonna have a uh, radius. Ulna? An ulna fracture, yeah. but not, I don't think it's gonna sever. Really? I think you're gonna have a radius and ulna fracture. I could see that. Because it's kind of blunt force impact. Yeah. As much as it is like slicing. Yeah. You know? If you really get going 60. It was so loud in the car that I thought I smoked the broom like right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm really yeah. surprised that I actually hit it because it was a very loud noise. Yeah. All right, here we go. 60 mile per hour. I'm gonna stand back a little. right off oh my goodness the whole hand fell off the whole hand completely dude, i didn't even hear it in the cab like the first one dude it was so much quieter just it just severed it dicer. dude right at the wrist take a look at this God, dude. i thought i didn't even hit it it was so quiet in here dude you I mean, nailed it right on the wrist imagine your kid has his window out there like hand out the window and you hit a sign you don't even know because you couldn't hear it and they're just screaming and blood squirting out of their arm. Their whole hand would be gone. That'd be sketch. I was going 60, it felt like 100 in here. 
You ready? Windows down. I mean. You ready to do the 100, dude? Oh yeah. Let's, Let's go. Really All right, we need a new arm. New arm. New arm. Dude, I'm really proud of you. The first test <laughs> went really good. I think you did a Can good. Can I get job. a high five? Yeah. A double high five? <laughs> Patty. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> well, um, we have nothing but oh, forearm left. Two hands left to go. Speed limit sign here. We got this uh, run back from the tracks. So we're gonna start all the way down there by those RPs and just get an absolute here and see if I can't get a calculated dialed in impact onto this ballistic gel on. It's running. All right, so Parker is starting all the way back there in the grass and on this dirt road. He's coming. Oh, he stepped on it. He's hauling. Holy crap, he's moving. Oh my God. <laughs> We have a thumb bone right here in the middle of the road. And then we have the rest of the forearms right over here. Completely out of the... It went dude, that far? Dude, it oh went flying. Dude, it pulled the bone right out of the ballistic. Yes, I love it. I love it. Dude, that was no, sick. How far did that fly? Bro, it flew probably at least, gosh, 30 feet. Brother. Let's count this out. We got... Thirty-three feet. <laughs> the arm flew. I was cooking, bro. It was sounded so gnarly. You were on the throttle, bro, to the floor <laughs> because you just hear it. Oh, bro, the cops are here. <laughs> we're gonna need a medic. Yeah, we're gonna need a medic, <laughs> brother. Yes. That's oh my god. Dude, where did the bones go that were in here, dude? There's a thumb bone right here. Yes, oh look, oh look, come here dude, look. We got a thumb on the ground. <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down on that I one, dude? I if you put it in your mouth and then bring it to the hospital, they can sew it back on. <laughs> <laughs> let's see it, dude, let's see it. Puts a new meaning to the definition short-handed. <laughs> can we see more Mythbuster-like experiments? ideas in the books. I do, I do. I'll be honest with you, I've kind of shifted more towards quality over quantity type content and uh, I'm liking it. It gives me a little bit of time to kind of brew my ideas and get everything dialed in so it's not thrashed together. But if y'all want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below. Throw your ideas in and maybe I'll put them to the test. But now let's get to this nasty burnout I did. Oh, up next we have your favorite dentist. Parker Mitchell from Teeth and Turbo's YouTube channel in his Hellcat. Let's see what he can do.
You gotta take a look at all this fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we were trying to tell you. Hey, these gotta go to Chad. Okay. That, that's what we were trying to tell you. <laughs> oh, we got a little fire going there. All right, let's hear it for Dr. Parker. Let's hear it. Give me some sick shots of that. There. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next we have Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush. A toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com. 